Hey, so in yesterday's video, we showed you how you could basically show and hide containers. The code in there you can use for sections as well because it takes you to a link. So let me just show you, this is what yesterday's video did. You click a button, it shows you another container. And every time you click, it shows you further containers. So you might wanna hide certain things and only reveal them as you go along. But what if each time you click a button, you don't want the previous one to be visible? So when I reveal part two, I want part one to be disappeared. Well, you can do that. Let me show you here, we have the same thing again, part one. Notice how the part one button has disappeared. Did you notice that at all? Now we have part two, I click that, part two appears and the button has gone, but we have part three. We click part three and now we get to here, we hit part four and you can see what's happened. But now we have a button that says return to the start. Whoa, we're now back at the start. How did I do that? Well, I actually modified the code we used yesterday and I'm gonna very quickly show you how to do that. Now, if you watch yesterday's video, you'll understand how this is built. It is very, very similar, but I'll just quickly go over it. We have at the moment five, one, two, three, four, five containers. Four of the containers contain the contents because we had four buttons for them, but the very first container only contains a HTML and a button. You can see it here. There's the HTML and there will be a link in the video for you to go and get this code. This has been modified to do a whole lot more than what the yesterday button was doing. And in the very first container, we also have the button to say part one. You click that and it will reveal the next container that sits below. So you could have this in a hero banner, you could have it anywhere on your page. You know, you can have loads and loads of content and then somewhere in the middle, you're gonna have a sequence of containers that you wanna reveal step by step. Just make sure that at the top of that particular area where you're doing it, you've gone and put in the HTML and obviously a button as well. Now, um, this button does have the class name for show me. Every button in here will have the word show me in. It's part of the code until we get to the very last button when we now wanna return back to the start. And what we have over here in the second container, which will be revealed is, uh, let me just go to the layout over here. It's a row and it is set as wrap. And we have three items in there. We have the text editor, which you can do what you want with it. We have an image sat side by side, so 50%, 50%. And then underneath them, we have a button, which is you know set to almost like full width, or it doesn't even need to be full width. It kind of wraps under anyway, because we're using the wrap function as part of the Flexbox container for the row. If you don't understand Flexbox container, row, column, wrapping and all of that, please go and watch our Flexbox container videos step by step to understand exactly what this is doing. Every container that you now see below is basically a duplicate of this one here. Um, all it has is a difference in content, but all of the buttons are show me as the class name. Really, really important that. The other thing we also did was, in fact, I'll show you that in a moment. If I go to the very last button or the last container even, we have a button over here, but this button has some slightly different text and you can style it however you want. And the class name for this is now reset button. R-E-S-E-T hyphen button. You can change it if you want when you find that particular name in the code. You know, if you wanna call it something else, go for it. Just like we show me as well, just find it in that um, HTML code and you can modify that. Because this now, rather than revealing something, is actually gonna jump all the way back up to the top. Now, the other thing you do wanna do though with all of these containers, except the very top one, is go to advanced, go to responsive and set all of them to be hidden on the desktop, the tablet, and the mobile. And once you've done that, um, just copy paste the style. However, if you do have different styles uh, applied for every single one of your containers, because it might be that one of them has got text and image and button, one of them has got text accordion, image, video, did it, loads of stuff and there's different layouts, make sure you just um, consecutively go down through them and hide them for desktop, tablet, mobile. So if we now hit update now, and we go back over here, which kind of already I've shown you this really, is um, you hit the button and it reveals container one and it has hidden away the button. You can change it to reveal the button, but I've just got it set like that. When you hit part two, part two appears. I mean, it's not like a full on appear, like a fade through or a quick change. There is like a bit of movement, which you do have to kind of accept. But part three, 
What we're not getting is, like what we had in yesterday's video, part one, two, three, four. Did you notice how the page got quite long and you had to scroll? Now you're not really scrolling, you can read it. And if you go, oh, what was that right at the start? I need to start again to understand the flow. Fine, you just start again then. You know, however you want to do it. I mean, I at the moment have got this set up whereby um, there's nothing on part one except the part one button, but you could add further content um, above or below it, you know, another text, another image or something, and it will show. The code for this will be in the, <laughs> let me find it again first, in the video description, there will be a link. I can't paste it in there because of the angled brackets, but there will be a link there. My name's Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and go and have a bit of fun with showing and hiding some containers. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing.